in 2009, it was there was A's in July, and that was it. But in June, in, in the end of July and August, there's a B right here, meaning that there was something that was greater than the conventional fertilizer when it comes to dark green color index, something. Okay, and you look down through here, the only one was this A right here. And that is going to be, for those listening, that is going to be this organic manure plus compost tea. Okay, had a little bit darker green color index in June and in July, the end of July, and yeah, the end of July, than the, than the conventional fertilizer. All right, so there's a little blip on the radar here. But my point is, I don't care because I'm going from 0.74 I'm, going, I'm sorry, I'm going from 0.73 to 0.74 on a dark green color index. You're not going to see that. No one in their, with their eye is ever going to be able to pull that out. And even if they could pull it out, we're talking about a fraction of an increase, a fraction for five times the amount of money. That's the way to look at that. You're seeing 5% increase, maybe less than 5% increase, which you could argue, okay, well, I do want that percent increase. Okay, I'm not going to say you don't. You're going to pay five times as much money, maybe eight times as much money. Why don't you just apply a little bit more nitrogen? You probably would get from urea. You'd probably get this, the equivalent response and you'd do it for a fraction of the cost. This is the same thing too for, again, a different time of the year. A management gene, dark green color index. And this was early season of your, uh, in June of 2009. So in June, again, you see the conventional have a dark green color index than all the rest of them. But then all the rest of them, including the natural organics, they were all the same except for this one right here, the organic manure and the organic manure with compost tea. And this is what I'm saying. You can say statistically there's a difference here between these two. Okay, no problem. You can say that. I agree. There's a difference between those two. I'm paying eight times as much money to get a, a fraction of an increase. You, you, does this, is this making sense? In other words, let, let's say urea costs, let's say it costs, um, let's just say easy numbers, $1 per pound of nitrogen, the urea. And the, nat the natural organics that they're using are going to cost $8 per pound of nitrogen, okay? And you're going to get a 5% increase from the, from the natural organics using eight pound a dollar per nitrogen. Well, if urea only costs one dollar per nitrogen, why don't you just spend one dollar and ten cents or one dollar and twenty cents and get a little one about one point one pounds of nitrogen or whatever the case is, and get a little bit more nitrogen out there, and you're going to get basically the same response. I don't know. Sometimes I think I'm like the only one out here on this island thinking this way. I, I don't know. I just don't see that a lot of that that, that con concept or discussion happening. It's more like, oh, this is better here. I mean, you, conventional was better here, but natural organics is better here. So make sure you do natural organics. Okay. Just don't forget. You have a budget. Okay. It's going gonna, it's gonna to cost you some money. <laughs>